Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Ralph Michaels and Dave Koken of wagertalk.com. Guys, we're talking Big 12 action here, 4 p.m. Eastern kick on Fox. We got Oklahoma State hosting Texas here. Total of 58 and a half with Oklahoma State. The Cowboys, Ralph, laying three and a half at home in Stillwater. What are you thinking here in this Big 12 matchup? Well, you go back and look at the Oklahoma State teams of the past few years. They were almost 72% to the over when they played a Big 12 team at home. Not so this year. The pace has slowed. They still have the same offense, of course. But Sanders was banged up and, and Cubba Hubbard. But, you know, it's that defense that has played really well. And I do want to point out, even though the defense is putting up incredible numbers, allowing 303 yards per game and only 12 points per game, it's still not an elite defense because they haven't held the, any of those last three opponents to a season low. And that's what that's where I gauge an elite defense. If you're three or four games into the season and you held those opponents to a season low, then you are an elite defense. But West Virginia, when they allowed 353, that was not a season low. 193 to Kansas was not Kansas's worst performance. And the same against Iowa State. I just think this Oklahoma State team, again, it's just, even though Wallace is there and Hubbard and, and Sanders is back, you know, Illingsworth, Ill, Illingsworth has played well, 73% completions. I just don't think they have the offense to keep up with Ellinger. I mean, the 17-5 ratio, the losses to Oklahoma State in overtime and to TCU by a couple points were both games they were in. Remember, Texas, the dog, is 26-12 and 12 the last 28 Texas games. Not going to make my card to evenly match teams. I am going to take the quarterback playing in much better form with Texas and Ellinger and the points. All right, liking the dog here. Dave, coming to you, we got uh, Oklahoma State, the sixth-ranked team in the country, laying three and a hook at home. Any interest in that? Uh, there's not a top-10 team in the Big 12. So, And I say this all the time. The polls... There is, there is nothing more useless than the, these polls. They absolutely suck every single year. There are a bunch of guys who look at scores, and they, they don't watch the games. They are, if they do, they don't know what they're looking at. Uh, if Oklahoma you're, if you're undefeated, not, you're there, right? Yeah. What's that, Ralph? If, you, if you're undefeated, you're there. Well, that, look, that's I mean, the only yeah, reason teams make, it, make the like polls. I them. like the Cincinnati team, but they're not the seventh best team in the country. They're just not. OK, Oklahoma State is not the sixth best team in the country. That's not a knock on Oklahoma State as much as it is, as it is on these stupid polls. I don't know why anybody pays attention to it. Uh, Oklahoma State is a very good team. Texas is pretty good, too. But there are no Big 12 teams in the top 10. I think Oklahoma is probably the best of them. And they are just outside my top 10. Uh, so these teams should all consider themselves fortunate they're not playing in the SEC because they'd be getting their ass kicked on a regular basis, <clears throat> especially because of their, their defenses. Now, Oklahoma State does have a pretty good defense, and they have a pretty good offense. They are a pretty good football team, in fact. Texas is probably a tick behind them, uh, particularly on the defensive side. I made the number three and a half. It's four, so I obviously have no play there. What do I think is going to happen? I think Oklahoma State will find a way to outplay Texas and lose the football game. That's just a guess, okay? But I, Gundy doesn't win big games. He just doesn't. Uh, he's been there a long time, and you can count on you can literally count on one hand the number of really big games that he's won. He's come close in a lot of them, but he doesn't get the W. So it's just a guess. I'm not recommending anybody puts any money on it because my number again is three and a half, and and the line is four. So basically, I think it's lined right. But my guess is Texas. All right, Dave, good stuff there. And, and yeah, coming to you, Ralph, here in conclusion. You know, uh, I also think it's very early in the season, but remember, these are abbreviated seasons. You can't tell me these kids at Oklahoma State don't know that they're 4-0, that they're undefeated, that they play an undefeated Kansas State team next week, and then they have Oklahoma on deck. And if they get through Texas and they get through Kansas State and they get through Oklahoma, they have a shot to make it to the playoffs. It's early to be talking that kind of mindset, but in this season, I know it's happening already there in, in Stillwater, and I think that that's 
it puts a lot of pressure on those kids and a lot of it, I mean, all of it is self-inflicted, but I think that comes into play here in these games already in, in mid-October. Please yeah, let Oklahoma Mike, State make, please let Oklahoma State make the playoffs, please. Cause I'm one plus, of plus 20 the playoffs, plus 21 against Ohio state, <laughs> uh, Ohio state or uh, Alabama or Clemson would blow them off the field. Three touchdowns wouldn't uh-huh. be enough. <laughs> for Mike Gundy and company, he is a man. He's well over 40 now. So uh, that, that would be a sight to see, to see him in the playoffs, those Cowboys. But guys, as you see on the scroll at the bottom, we got the November thank you special, 199 bucks for the rest of college football, NFL, month of November. Plus, if you buy today, you get the rest of October for free. Check that out at the bottom scroll. No coupon needed, 199 for the rest of November. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the game.